for Parkland area parents. Today's shooting is a traumatic reminder of the lives they lost last year at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. Our team coverage turns down to Christian De La Rosa live in Parkland with more reaction tonight. Christian. It's a very difficult night for these parents. It was very hard for them to speak to us, but they said they felt the need to once again voice their, fr their frustrations. After 9-11, they made the airport safe. After the Oklahoma City bombing, they made the courthouses safe. But we continue to neglect our schools. Frustration from those who've already lived through this once. It's instances like today that, that push us all back. Max Schachter, whose son was killed in the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas school shooting, tweeting, quote, multiple assailants attacking one school or multiple schools simultaneously is my worst fear. This, as he learned, it wasn't one but two students who fired weapons at a Colorado school Tuesday. Schools continue to be soft targets. Lori al Hadef lost her 14-year-old daughter at the hands of the Parkland school shooter. Now a member of the Broward County School District, she's upset as she learns the Colorado school did not have a school resource officer on campus at the time of the shooting. We need a good guy with a gun there to immediately go in, engage, and take down the threat. Who cares if there was an officer or not? That is not what the problem is. Manuel Oliver, whose son Joaquin, was also killed by the school shooter in Parkland, speaking to us over the phone. Someone came into that school with a gun, and that's what really matters. Just last week, we told you about the Florida legislature passing a bill to help arm teachers and school staff on school campuses. Well, parents we spoke to tonight telling us that they believe the focus should be on preventing weapons from getting on school campuses, especially bad guys with weapons. We're live in Parkland. I'm Christian De La Rosa, Local 10 News. And any new developments online overnight? Christian, thank you.